Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're reviewing a dynamic duo for your desk. The BenQ Screen Bar Pro right up here and the BenQ 4K Monitor MA320U. I've set it up with my MacBook Pro over here and for the past week I've edited videos, tackled office tasks and squeezed in some vibe coding with this combo. How well did it improve my workflow? Well, let's break it down right here after the intro. Big thanks to BenQ for sending the monitor and screen bar pro for review. Make sure to like, subscribe, let's get started and roll the intro. So first impressions, the MA32OU is a sleek 32 inch 4K IPS display in a clean black chassis that screams designed for Mac. And look, it is with Mac color match tuning offering a vibrant P3 wide color gamut. And the screen bar pro, well, it sits right on top without any stands or clamps cluttering your desk. The setup was super easy. One USB-C cable from the MacBook to the monitor for display and a 90 watt charging capability. And the screen bar pro plugs into the USB-C port on the back of the monitor, meaning, well, you can ignore the included power brick, which is actually a nice addition these days anyway. So now let's talk about each device in a little bit more detail and why I think this combo is a creator's dream. Well, let's start with the screen bar pro. What is it? Well, it's an LED light bar that perches on top of your monitor. It casts a light on your desks and before you ask, all without glare on your screen. So BenQ uses an asymmetrical optical design that directs lights downwards and towards your workspace. So not into your eyes or your monitor. So even with the screen bar pro on, you won't see any reflections on the MA32OU's panel. Now the light coverage feels ultra wide. BenQ advertises over 1000 lux at the center and around 500 lux at the edges of uh, what I would say about an 85 to a 50 centimeter area. In practice, it easily lights up my entire desk beyond the 32 inch monitor. Essentially, one screen bar can replace a bulky desk lamp, uh, freeing up a lot more space on your desk to clip that minimal clean look on your desk. Now, in reality, and double checking with my light meter, I got around 800 lux at maximum in the center and around 400 on the edges, just around here, near the 32 inch monitor. However, this isn't really an issue because I recommend use the bar on auto. The rather smart algorithm provides a fantastic experience and my average lux in the center ended up being around 350. And that was really easy on my eyes. Why would anyone want? A screen bar. Well, first of all, it reduces desk clutter. It helps to even out and create a focused light environment, which tends to reduce harsh shadows and eye strain during long sessions, which translates to a more productive experience when working on projects. Now, all this without distorting any screen colors, so those who edit videos will be happy. And since BenQ's Screen Bar Pro is flicker free and low blue light, it helps to reduce eye fatigue, especially during nighttime work, which is 99% of my work, especially for video editing. Furthermore, it provides direct control over color temperature that comes out of the LEDs. So you can set it to warm for relaxation and cool light to focus. But let me tell you what makes the BenQ Screen Bar the standout in the crowd of screen bars. BenQ's main draw card is the auto dimming, but with a bit of a twist. The screen bar pro has a built-in ambient light sensor and also an ultrasonic motion sensor. So when I sit down or stand in front of my desk, it auto turns on. And when I step away, it turns off after about five minutes of no movement, which is of course pretty neat. It's like it knows when you're working late and when I've called it at night and I don't have to worry about pressing a button or remembering to do so. What's some more interesting and actually crucial for creators like me is the screen bar use of high fidelity LEDs. It has a color rendering index, which in simple terms 
means the light is very close to natural sunlight in how it shows colors. So if you have prints or swatches or any physical item on your desk, the screen bar's light lets you see them in true color. Now for positioning, it hooks over the monitor with a counterweight foot that can accommodate monitors from very thin panels to thick curved ones. The BenQ MA32OU is an IPS panel with a slight bulge at the top for a webcam, which is no problem for the screen bar. It sits very securely without blocking anything. But speaking of webcams, you might have noticed this one, and it's the main downside of the Screen Bar Pro. Now, it does include a webcam mount, as you can see, and it sits on top of the flat area here with a little bit of double-sided sticky tape. Now, it does add a few extra centimeters of height to the webcam, which means during Zoom calls for work, it becomes even more obvious that your eyes aren't looking directly at the camera when you're looking at the participants of your own video feed. For anyone who values natural eye contact on video calls, this could be a bit frustrating. My feedback to BenQ for a future version is integrate your already existing high quality webcams directly into the screen bar. It seems like a missed opportunity at this stage. Now, let's not beat around the bush here. This is a premium gadget and priced higher than the competition. After all, BenQ invented the vertical, which also means you get what you pay for. And if you want a premium quality light bar that works out of the box with great dimming and motion sensing, then the BenQ's $239 Australian dollar Roo Screen Bar Pro is it. Now, overall, I have to admit, I thought these things were a gimmick or just different ways to add light to your desks. But now after a few weeks with the Screen Bar Pro, it feels like a bit of a game changer for my workspace. It keeps me focused and comfortable when editing it into the night. And of course it doesn't clutter my space, which keeps my mind clean. You know what they say. Now let's turn to the screen. This is the BenQ MA32OU. Not a friendly name, but it is a 32 inch 4K IPS monitor that BenQ says is the best color matching monitor for your MacBook. And honestly, after using it for editing and content work, I get why they're saying that. Out of the box, the color accuracy is absolutely impressive. It's factory calibrated to cover 99% of the sRGB space and about 97% of the DCI P3, which are the two main color spaces we kind of care about for video editing and design. I mean DIY. Now BenQ even includes a special M-Book mode that makes the colors on your monitor match that of the MacBook Pro nearly perfectly. Which means when I'm working in Premiere Pro and I drag a project window from the MacBook onto the screen, I genuinely can't see a color difference. The skin tones match, the reds, the blues, they're all matching. And that's huge, especially for anyone using a dual screen setup. It means that what you see here will look exactly the same across all your other Apple devices. And I keep saying Apple, and I think you already get it. This is a monitor for those of you who have MacBooks, Mac Minis, Mac Studios. Now, the resolution is 3840 by 2160. It's the standard UHD 4K. And on a 32 inch screen, that gives a pixel density of around 140 PPI. It's not technically retina if you're sitting up close, but it's still sharp. And from where I stand here, it's obsidian sharp. BenQ claims a typical brightness of 550 nits and it's certified to display HDR 600. Now from my testing, highlights in the HDR content do stand out more than SDR, so it looks solid, but keep in mind this is an edge lit IPS. It's not OLED or mini LED, so black levels aren't that deep. Dark scenes will show a bit of IPS glow and you won't get those inky blacks. But for me, that's fine. I do most of my grading in SDR anyway. HDR is more of a nice to have and not really a game changer for me. But where the MA32OU really shines is the day-to-day -day use. The matte anti-glare coating is excellent, even in a bright office environment. I don't see any reflections. And when I pair it with the BenQ Screen Bar Pro, pretty much a killer combo. And BenQ also includes their eye care tech, which I've come to appreciate at my older age. This includes flicker-free backlighting, low blue light modes, and even an e-paper mode for long reading or writing sessions. 
Coders will appreciate the coder color mode, which I particularly liked when working in Terminal. BenQ clearly built the MA32OU with MacBook users in mind. It even syncs with Mac OS's controls. I can press the brightness keys on my MacBook and it adjusts the monitor's brightness and does the same with the monitor volume. And connectivity is another strong point. One USB-C cable handles video, audio, data and charges my MacBook at 90 watts. That single cable setup is a game changer. It basically turns the monitor into a dock, which means less stuff on your desk. On the back, there are also two USB-A ports, another USB-C for peripherals, two HDMI ports, a headphone jack, and a built-in speaker. Now, the speakers are okay. They're fine for YouTube videos or even a Zoom call, but don't expect rich sound. They're three watt drivers. So if you're doing any audio work, I'll definitely suggest you get yourself some headphones or external speakers. Has the Screen Bar Pro and MA32OU combo actually improved my daily workflow? Well, first of all, editing on the 32 inch 4K screen has been a joy. In Premiere Pro, I can have my timeline, preview windows and tools all spread out without feeling cramped. And unlike an ultra wide at a size that makes sense, I don't have to make the mouse do a marathon to get an effect onto my timeline. The color consistency means I am confident in grading footage because it all matches, especially if I can trust the MacBook's internal display. And the screen bar pro complements this by maintaining an ideal ambient light. I often edit in complete dark rooms, especially at night after all the kids are in beds. And since the screen bar casts a comfortable 350 to 400 lux light onto my keyboard and desk, it does reduce that contrast between the light screen and the dark room, cutting down on eye strain. It's like having a studio by a slide, but only illuminating the desk and controls instead of the wall. So here's my final take. The BenQ Screen Bar Pro and MA32OU have transformed my editing setup. It's not just about looking good, it's made me forget my really nice ultra-wide 57-inch G9 monitor because this combo is about working smarter and more comfortably. Now, they're not the cheapest accessory out there, but for what you get, they offer real value. So together, they punch well above their prices, especially compared to high-end studio setups. So if you're a creator, editor, or even someone who takes their desk setup seriously, this combo is genuinely worth a look. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Links below where you can grab the Screen Bar Pro and the MA32OU monitor. Big thanks to Ben Q for sending the products for review and thanks to you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then tap the like button. If you'd like to see more in-depth content like this, then hit the subscribe one. Thanks for watching and bye.